Hey folks, so textile evaluation activity number one. So we are going to be diving into our buddy, the swatch book. So sometimes I talk so fast that I record this stuff with no sound. <laughs> so I'm putting this over time. Okay, so you've seen this book. Hopefully you've gone through several of the pages. I'm going to jump straight to the wool section. Um, so this is the section that we covered in the module. We talked about wool. Part of your assignment was to read these pages, so hopefully you read those pages and you're ready to move on with the activity, okay? All right, so this first set, um, the first page, or actually the third page, um, has uh, some, some swatches and then the rest of the swatches continue on the next page. So for this activity, we are going to be using four swatches and we're going to pull the swatches out of the book. Now, remember I said get double-sided tape because the swatches will fray as you pull them out. So you do have to pull them pretty, pretty hard. And it does leave a little fraying um, still on the card, but that's why you have double-sided tape because <laughs> you're going to put it back in. Uh, this um, this tweed frays quite a bit, which actually is a good thing because you can see the ends of the fabrics on it when it when it frays. So you can uh, do a little bit more evaluation on the ends of those fabrics. Okay, so those are the two from that page. Next, we're going over to the next page, and we're going to use a wool suiting. You can pick either one. I pulled that one off already, um, so um, that's why I'm using that one. And you see, you can pull the yarns out of that one. And then we are going to use the wool melting is the next one that, that we're going to use, okay? And that one comes off the easiest out of out of all of them, all right? So for the purpose of this, I'm just going to move um, all the way to the back of the book just so I have a, a, a flat surface. Um, you don't have to do this part, um, but I'm just going to use it so I have a, a colored uh, surface. I'm on my table, on my sewing table. Okay, so your uh, responsibility is to crumple the fabric by clenching it in your fist um, and for you you need to hold it in your fist for one minute a whole minute but i wasn't gonna wait a minute for each one on here so crumple it for a minute and then after you crumple it for a minute you release it release or well, hold it release it shake it a couple times and then um and then place it onto a flat, flat surface. Okay. So what you're gonna be doing in this, um, in this activity, oh, it flew out my hand. <laughs> it popped out. What you're gonna be doing is you are going to be evaluating how wrinkled the fabric is after uh, one minute of being of being crinkled. Okay. So you're gonna do that for each one of the samples. Like I said, you will take the sample, crumple it in your hand, hold it for 30 seconds. Sorry, the video stopped. <laughs> Threw me off for a second. Hold it for one minute and then lay it on a flat surface. Okay, so that is your charge. Um, and then you, after you do that, then you, um, then you complete the rest of the worksheet. So there's some uh, descriptors that you have to that you have to um, use to talk about what the wrinkle resistance is based on the following scale that is on that is on the evaluation activity worksheet. Okay, that's it. Um, that's not all of it, but that's it for this video. <laughs> all right, I'll see you.